Good afternoon. I'm Ben. Welcome back to Acoustic Paradiso here on Anderton's TV. I have got surrounding me today the all redesigned uh, Fender Paramount range of acoustic guitars and um, I'm really impressed with them, I have to say. Let me tell you a bit about them. The, um, the Paramount range, as I say, has been completely redesigned. They've got a new bracing system, a new pickup system, new aesthetics uh, and some new kind of wood choices and stuff. So we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it now. I'll start with this one, which is on my lap. This is the PD-220E, which is fairly obviously a dreadnought. Now, um, this is a three-tone three vintage sunburst, which is one of the color options. Uh, you can also get this guitar in the natural option, and it's also available in the mahogany top ver uh, option, which we'll come to at some point. Uh, the other choices you have are between the tiger stripe pick guard or the plain black pick guard. I would always go for Tiger Stripe. I have no idea why you would choose otherwise, but tell me in the comments. Um, it's a beautiful guitar. It's all solid woods. So um, this one and the natural one, it's a solid spruce top with solid mahogany back and sides, a solid mahogany neck and a Van Cole fingerboard. Um, the binding on the back of these is very cool. I mean, they, I traditionally, if I'm gonna confess, have not been, a massive fan of Fender Acoustics. Um, they've always left me a bit cold, but actually, as soon as we got some of these out of the cases, because they all come with a hard case as well, should mention that. Um, as soon as I got them out of the case, I was really, uh, really impressed. Um, so let me, let me talk you through some of the other bits. The new pickup system in here is really good as well. It's been designed uh, by Fender in conjunction with Fishman. Um, and as well as having your kind of traditional under saddle piezo pickup, it's got a transducer on the top, um, which works in a similar way to a dynamic microphone. People are gonna complain about that in the comments, but it's fine. It basically, it picks up the vibrations of the top, so you can blend some of that in. There's controls just inside the sound hole here, one for volume, one for blend. So if I, tell you what, if I take it all the way one way on the blend and play a chord, here we go. Great, I'm gonna move the blend control all the way to the other extreme, see how that sounds. So it does make a difference. Uh, I think it's a positive difference as well. I've never been a fan of the piezo uh, under saddle pickup. All right, so let's hear uh, how this version sounds completely acoustic. Um, Dread naughty. So like I say, the setup on these is killer as well. That's worth mentioning. I, I don't know who's been doing the setup work on these, but they've done a bang up job. Um, as you'd expect, the uh, the fret ends and all that kind of thing is all fine. The playability is really nice. Um, scale length is what you would expect on a dreadnought this size. And it's got these cool open gear tuners, which I forgot to mention last time, um, which are lovely. Very, yeah, very impressed with this. I'm gonna move on to uh, look at these models here. We can do a little compare and contrast between the mahogany and spruce tops, all right. All right, so this is the first of the two orchestra models in this series that we're gonna look at. This is the one with the spruce top, again, in the uh, vintage three-tone um, sunburst, which is really cool, actually. I have to, it's a really nice sunburst. And I do love the binding. It's, it's not quite herringbone. I'm not sure what the pattern is you'd describe it as, but it's, it looks great. Um, anyway, this is the spruce top version of the orchestra model, so... Um
There we go. Very nice. It's a little quiet, I would say, but let's have a listen, see what the mahogany version is like. So here we are with the orchestra model with the mahogany top and the satin finish. Um, and let's see how it sounds compared to the spruce. All right. <laughs> I know which I prefer, <laughs> uh, and it's this one. So there, I mean, uh, you know, let me know which is your favorite in the comments, but um, I don't normally like mahogany top guitars for finger picking over spruce, but in this case I do. I don't know why, I just prefer the tone of it. This is nice and um, it's a very warm sounding guitar, but it still has enough in the top end for um, to be satisfying, yeah. So there we go, that's, that's interesting. It's quite a, quite a marked tonal difference between the two tops there. So we've heard them with the pickups. Let's hear what they sound like completely acoustically, uh, you know, as nature intended, um, with this KM184 Neumann. So this is the mahogany version, okay? See what the spruce is like. Yeah, I still prefer the mahogany. Yeah, interesting. There's the mahogany, there's the uh, spruce version just with the microphone. Okay, last but by no means least, if you've seen me play acoustic guitars before, you know I've got a bit of a thing for parlor sized guitars. This is the PS220E Parlor in natural finish. This is obviously the spruce top version, um, all the same woods and pickup system as, as the other guitars. Um, this, I have to say, I've not played any of them very much, but this is my favorite, but I'm very biased towards small body guitars. So here we go. Here it is with the pickup. So there we go, it's got that classic uh, parlor kind of sound, not much low end, but that's all right, that's a good thing. Let's hear how it sounds acoustically. So this is again going through our trusty Neumann KM184. Uh. Ah, oh, yeah, 
Tremendous fun. Um, so there we go. This is part of the new Fender Paramount range. They're bringing out a load of uh, bluegrass instruments as well, I believe. And um, yeah, they've really upped their acoustic game this time. I'm, I'm really impressed. Very much so with, with the mahogany one as well. I'd really like to try a mahogany version of this parlor just to see what it's like. So hopefully at some point we'll bring you a video on that. Uh, do let me know what you think in the, in the comments below and don't forget to click like and subscribe. These models are all the same price as well, which is £629. I should mention they all come with a, uh, with a hard case, which is great. This is the hard case here for the, for the parlour. I mean, it's, it's a nice hard case. You've seen hard cases. You know what a guitar hard case looks like. This is one and it's great. So yeah, well worth checking out the new Fender Paramount range and um, we'll see you again soon. So take care.